The economic backdrop is entering a new stage. Rate cuts have now taken place in the US, the UK, New Zealand, and Europe. We'll follow at some point, but the question really isn't when will rates be cut here, but rather what does the journey and the destination look like? Because the path to lower rates will have big implications for the equity, fixed income, and foreign exchange markets. But it's not just a matter of following the herd, because the prevailing wisdom will already be priced. Even more important is the fact that this prevailing economic wisdom is constantly changing. The economic narrative has swung enormously over the course of this year and last. And as this pendulum swung from one side to the other, it has created tremendous opportunities as markets price in too few or too many cuts or too much or too little economic growth. And all this market indecision creates volatility. And with that comes opportunity. This volatility, combined with a sense for what an asset is worth, enables a valuation-driven approach to push towards and away from assets as prices fluctuate around their intrinsic value. Markets also have this tendency to extrapolate the prevailing environment as if it were permanent. A few years ago, this tendency to extrapolate created opportunities in energy companies as markets priced in the expectation that mobility would never normalize. Then, as the world reopened and inflation emerged, high rates created opportunities in some US tech companies, companies like Meta, and Alphabet and others to buy excellent businesses at great prices. So in this month's webinar, we'll look at how the economic backdrop is evolving. We'll look at the linkages between moves in the economic backdrop and asset prices and conclude with some observations on valuations. One such linkage is how the cut in US rates provided Chinese authorities the space to consider long overdue stimulus measures. Their action from markets reflected how much pessimism was baked in to Chinese equity prices. Most had given up. We don't expect the path to be linear, and many structural issues remain. But measures to address the high savings rates and low level of confidence among the Chinese consumer are a key component of the thesis. We also know that using valuation as the bedrock for positioning, both in China and elsewhere, means that portfolios can be navigated in a way that helps deliver better outcomes as the world moves at an ever more rapid pace. As always, Morningstar's portfolios are constructed to withstand this pace. With valuation at the core, we look to ensure good outcomes for your clients over the long term. Any advice in this video is general advice prepared by Morningstar without reference to your objectives, financial situation, or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest.